Hey everyone, Brian Lagunas here, and today I'm going to answer another tech question. If you have a tech question you'd like to have answered, make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment below with your question, and I may just answer it in my next video. Today's question comes from Raul Matthew. In this question, he asks, Hey Brian, uh, I need to implement a login feature that will prevent the navigation unless login is complete. And then he asks it again. And again, and again, and again. Uh, I'm just teasing Raul. Uh, this is actually a really good question and not something I cover in any of my Pluralsight courses or anything like that, uh, but it's actually quite easy to do depending on the scenario that you're trying to implement. So in this video, Raul, I am going to answer your question and I'm going to show you the simplest way possible to do this. Sound good to you? Sounds good to me. Roll that intro. Let's start this video off by creating a brand new WPF Prism blank .NET Core application. Uh, I'm going to use the project template that's provided by the Prism template pack. So I'm going to select the Prism blank app for .NET Core. I'm going to hit next. We'll give it a name. It doesn't matter what this is called. I'm going to hit create. I'm going to get a prompt. You know, what kind of container do you want to use? I'm going to use dry IOC for this prism project. I'm going to create the project and now visual studio is going to do its thing and create our prism template pack project template. Uh, once the application has been created here, uh, the next goal is, you know, what do we want to do, right? Well, we want to show a login screen and this is interesting because this, really depends on your application specifics, like your requirements. You know, showing a login screen may sound simple, but do you need it when the app is running? Do you need it when the app is starting up? Uh, do you not want to hide the main screen and more of like you want to be able to switch login while the app is running? Like there's, there's a lot that goes into this, but in this video, I'm going to show you the bare bones, very basic, simplest way to show a login screen. Uh, to do that, let's go ahead and open up our main window just to see what we are uh, working with here. And the Prism template pack, you know, generates a, a blank template. There's nothing in here. Uh, so actually what I want to do, let's just go ahead and add like a text block here. We'll set the font size to something larger. Uh, maybe, you know, 72 is kind of a good, good size. Uh, maybe we want to set the horizontal alignment to center and the vertical alignment to center. And then we need some text. I'll just say uh, Prism app, right? And it works for me. So. There's our main uh, main window for this application. And actually I want to set the window startup location to center screen. Uh, that way I don't have to like drag windows back and forth while I record this. Uh, okay, so as it is, let's just run the application. Uh, the expectation is this Prism app is just going to launch this, this main window and we're going to see our Prism app. And there it is, right? Uh, so now what we want to do is we want to implement some type of login screen. Uh, in order to do that, the simplest way possible, uh, let's start by creating a new login screen. Uh, I'm gonna create just a new window in this demo, but you may choose to use like the dialog service or something like that. But you know, just for now, I'm just gonna use a very basic window. It's just gonna be a new window, not a big deal. Uh, one thing we can also do on here, we need to add a button, right? Uh, this button's gonna say like, you know, log in. It's not gonna do anything fancy. And in our case, we're just gonna hard code it to just close, okay? And so what I want to do is I want to set, I think it's the uh, dialog result. Yep, dialog result. I'm just going to set that to true. And so when I click the button, we're going to set dialog result to true of this window. And all that's going to do is it's going to close the dialog, the login dialog, and return a true result as the dialog result. And you'll see that in action here in a minute. Okay, so now that we have this login screen, now the next thing we need to do is we need to show this login screen. And in this very simple, basic example, I'm going to show you how to show this login screen before the app launches, right? So before you see your shell window and before all the modules and everything start loading up and displaying, uh, we're not even going to show the shell, right? So this main window in a, in a Prism application, this, this term or the, what this is, uh, you know, referred to a lot is called a shell. And there's actually a method here called create shell. Uh, so our main window is the shell. So before the shell even shows, we're going to show a login screen. And then depending on the result of that, you're either going to show it or you're not going to show it. Right. Okay. So 
The way we're going to do this is we're going to override the on initialize because this is the method. You see where this base dot initialize is called here. Uh, this method is actually responsible for showing the shell. So if you go into the source code of, of Prism, you'll see that on initialize is actually like uh, shell dot show. Like that's all it does. It just shows it. So what we can do, we can do something like this, right? We say, hey, var login equals a container dot resolve uh, our login screen. Okay, uh, once we have that, we can do something like var result equals login dot show dialog, right? Something like this. And then we can, might wanna do something like, hey, if the uh, result is true, uh, I think this is a nullable, yeah. So we'll say, hey, if that's true, or I don't even need to do equals true, I'll just, hey, if, if we logged in, if that's true, then we're going to initialize the application and it's going to show the shell uh, else. Let's go application dot current dot. Uh, was it shut down? Yeah, shut down. And then we'll just shut down the app uh, if they don't log in. Right. So in our scenario, well, you're you're always logging in now. But let's go ahead. Let, let's run the application. Uh, and actually, another thing I want to do is I'm going to set the Windows startup location to center screen so during this demo it pops up on this screen for the login window okay so let's go ahead and run this application right so what we expect to see is our login screen with the one button right so we put on it and when i click this what's going to happen is now the application is shown uh however you know what let's do this let's do this let's modify our login so let's make this a stack panel right so i can throw another button in here uh, we'll call this one. Uh, so we'll, what do we, what do we do here? Let's think, let's think, let's say if I can type login false, right? That's what we'll do. This is what we'll do right here. And then we'll just button click one and we will just set this to false instead. I, I just want to test it, right? We want to see how this is going to, going to work. All right. So now let's, let's run this application again. Let me bring up my logic so we can see this. So I'm gonna run the application again. The expectation is we're gonna see this login screen. If I log in true, the expectation is, yep, we see our uh, Prism application, the shell shows up and then all the modules and everything would be displayed here, right? Whatever view objects you had. And then of course, if we wanted to hit login false, well, that's gonna close and the application shuts down because your user did not have rights to actually launch the application, right? They didn't pay you, right? <clears throat> they, they didn't pay the fee to use your app. So when they logged in, you shut down on them. So this is the very simplest approach to showing a login screen. Like I said, here you may actually choose to use the dialog service instead, or perhaps you actually want to show the shell. And then after the shell loads, you're gonna show another login screen on top of it with like a gray background, like a transparent type background, you know, and then that's how your login behaves. Like, so you'll have to make decisions on how your login mechanism actually behaves in your application. But if you just care about, hey, when the app starts, uh, I want to show login screen. Yes, no, give me a choice. Uh, show the shell if I'm logged in, shut it down if I'm not. This is what you would do. This is the basic idea of what you would do. So uh, Raul, I, I, uh, I, I hope that helps you out, my friend.